guys, today I'm gonna make the sexiest mac and cheese in your entire life with my good friend. With my good friend! Oh, there you are, hello. What's up, bro? Hey, we got two pounds of mac and cheese. Gouda cheese, gouda cheese, gouda cheese, gouda cheese, gouda cheese, gouda cheese. More gouda, gouda, and gouda. Oh my god, that looks nice. Alright, so now that we have the 12 eggs whisked to a froth, we're gonna take our extra fancy cheese that doesn't even have to be refrigerated, put it in here. The melted butter, about two sticks of it, because we're poly in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Add some of this in there. Mm. I don't know if this is gonna fit. <laughs> <laughs> That's so much, bro. Um, Mac and cheese for days, dude. Uh, <laughs> this is so okay. much. We got a bigger tub. Now I'm gonna pick it up. It, this container is too small for the mm -hmm. mac cheese, so now I'm pouring it in here. Creamy texture right here, right? So creamy. Now it's time to add our seven different cheeses right there. Are you ready? I'm ready. So now we're gonna take our seven different cheeses. We got Gouda, 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 and more Gouda in here. We're just gonna pour all that cheese in there. All that cheese, girl. Yes, yes. And then we're gonna somehow mix all this in here. We also have salt and pepper. This is about one eighth. This is about a teaspoon of salt. You wanna, just, you know, dabble it on top. Make sure you thoroughly mix this because you know, there's so many cheeses, you don't want like just a chunk of cheese somewhere else all by itself, so you wanna mix it and make sure everyone's happy together. After I mixed it a little bit is where I'm gonna add the rest of my salt and pepper, you know, so it's like not all going in the same area. I know you guys wanna know a secret here, okay? So I know you guys are always like, how does my grandma make her macaroni and cheese so crispy on the top? Well, if your grandma happened to be Asian like my grandma, she might have used pinko crumbs, right? You get like a cup of this, like measure it out, Get a cup of panko crumbs, bam. Half a stick of melted butter, and then you just pour it into the panko crumbs right here, right? And you wanna toss it around. Then what you're gonna do is get about a cup of cheese. Put that in the panko crumbs, bam. Cheese is gonna help hold the panko crumbs and keep it all cheesy and delicious. I'm using sharp cheddar right now. All right, so we're gonna take our mac and cheese and just pour it right in the center. Bam. Gotta make sure we get all of that. Juicy, juicy, cheesy mac and cheese out. Spread it out evenly again. Grab the pinko crumbs, butter, and cheese that I told you guys to make a second ago, and we're gonna just evenly layer it on top. And it's good, we're done. So we're gonna leave it in there for about 30 minutes to cook and melt and get all delicious and sexy for us. Woo! <coughs> Rolling. So it's been 30 minutes. Now I'm gonna push off on the oven. Open this bad boy up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do you smell that? Ooh. I'm kinda actually scared. This is probably really hot. So be extra careful when transporting your delicious macaroni and cheese. Okay, okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, here we go, here we go. We're gonna take it out right now. And we're gonna let it cool for a little bit and then cut into it. All right, guys, so get like a spatula. Let's go ahead and like, just go ahead and just cut like a little, you know, macaroni cake out. Ooh, look how cheesy that is. Ooh. 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 Put that right there. Next to your rice, maybe some ribs. Ooh! Thank you guys so much for watching me make this delicious, amazing, fancy, sexy, seven cheese, macaroni and cheese. I'll see you guys next time later. I'll cook some more stuff. Okay, bye.